Hey, my name is Brennan Hoffman. I'm a photographer based in Russia. The project I've done for the Pulitzer Center is on mono towns in Russia, single industry towns. For the last two days I've been doing school visits for the Pulitzer Center to uh, middle schools and high schools around Washington DC talking about topics that I've photographed in Russia as well as Ukraine. Um, Usually when we do that, we start off to try to give some context for the kids. I've been talking about just the role of a journalist, and specifically the role of a photojournalist and the things that photography can do differently, um, and the ways that photographs can help tell a story. The articles are really important too, but they do different things, right? Photographs, what are some of the ways that the pictures can, uh, can communicate the news? What you, what's maybe different about a photograph compared to reading a newspaper? It gives you a visual of what happened. Why is that good? It's just like a better idea. It gives you better It's the last visit we did during the second day um, when I was discussing what a photograph can do in ways that it's different in terms of conveying information from a written story. And with this is within the first two minutes of our visit, and already I had a student who who piped up and, and brought up the idea of empathy and that a photograph can help someone see their life in, through someone else's eyes and empathize with that person's situation. So that was, I thought, from a sixth grader, that was a pretty articulate and sophisticated idea. Let's tell a story about this one. He's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Exhausted. Yeah. Stress. He is, he, he like that. Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's why that's like you, you get that just immediately though, right? Viscerally, yeah? We didn't have to have somebody tell you about how tired he is? I was actually surprised at how much kids are following the news these days. So they all knew everything that was going on in Russia. They knew that there was a situation in Ukraine. Even if they don't know all of the details of the backstory, they were well aware of it. Russia is kind of not really a war, but they're like in a disagreement because Russia is being like Germany. They want some land that's not theirs, but the people that live in Ukraine in that land really don't care. It's so confusing. It's confusing. That's actually the best way to describe what's going on there. But yes, a lot of these kids are actually reading the newspaper. They're getting the Washington Post at home and reading it, or looking online. So they're pretty well informed. Well. On the TV, television, television, media, media, social media. Social media. Newspaper. Social media. So like Facebook, Twitter. You on Twitter? Yeah. What else? The Washington Post. You read the paper online, or do you actually read the paper? Paper. I get a paper. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Good for you. Radio! You're the first one all day to say So we've discussed those issues and shown a f my short film. It's called Monotown. The focus of the film is m about uh, a man who moved away from his hometown to study music and came back um, and sort of gave up his dream of being a musician so that he could concentrate on improving his town. Um, with the kids, I've used that as a way to talk about their connection to the city or the neighborhood where they live, where they come from, and some of the attachments that they may have to that place, whether it's family or friends or culture. Yeah, right. Felt driven. How many of you grew up in Washington, D.C.? Most of you? Do you feel like you're connected to it? Yeah. That was a nice mix of yes and no. How many of you are going to just leave as soon as you get the chance? What kind of things? might get you to, some of you are going to stay, what, what might get you to stay, or what might get you to come back? Do you think you might come back at some point? Family. Uh-huh. Family. Family, that's it. Kind of like Nikolai, how he came back because he wanted to better his community. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would eventually, I would eventually leave too. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I feel like I would just leave. Yeah. Would you leave too? Yeah. 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 Yeah.